What's going on guys, Stiff here with another Mutt Player Review and this week we're going to be going over Luke Keekley, 95 overall, arguably the best middle linebacker in the game, actually I think he is the best middle linebacker in the game. Let's go over some stats, he's got 88 speed, 90 awareness which is really good, 98 play recognition, 98 tackle, 83 strength, 90 block shed, 97 pursuit and 78 zone coverage. One of the best in the middle linebacker, he's also got 92 hit power which is really really good. Right now, you can go snag him on the auction block for around 100k. Uh, that's the cheapest you can find. He's even better than the Ray Lewis, uh, who's 95 overall, and he's and the Ray Lewis is going for like 400k. So you can save yourself a lot of money to get a better linebacker who's been out since day one. And just to uh, compare him to the league average, just right here, this picture right here, you can see that his league average is just above everyone else's. I use her with him. He's got 88 speed. He can do everything that you need him to do. So make sure you guys save up your coins or go out and buy him right now. He's a valuable person uh, to put into your defensive lineup. And also, let me add that he's got one of the best catch uh, ratings for uh, a middle linebacker. Dude doesn't really drop a lot. Uh, there's really nothing else I could say about this card, but uh, to get into some gameplay right here. Um, the card is just an absolute monster. You really need to get this card. In, and you don't even have to use her, the Luke Keekly, because when you don't use her, uh, Luke Keekly, that's when the 98 play recognition really gets into effect, when the computer controls the card for you, because he just jumps all this routes and stuff like that. And I'll get into a deeper example or example later when I show you guys. So we actually start off with the ball. We actually get a really good run. On like the second play of the game, a little dump off pass. Uh, I forgot who that exactly was. It wasn't Matt Forte, but I forgot who it was. But uh, we get in for the score. But here we go on defense. And usually my defense in the first drive is a little shaky because I'm getting used to my opponent. But notice that he always puts, whenever he's passing the ball, always putting that right tight end on a uh, fade route. And you'll you'll see... Later, he puts the two tight ends on the fade route, but you'll see later what I mean by that play recognition, exactly what happens that benefits me and also the, the card and why you should get the card to begin with. Because it, the play recognition, how he just jumps routes is just unbelievable when you're not using him. And then when you are using him, like right there, oh my god, almost lurked it. If I wasn't strafing, if I didn't have automatic strafe on, I might have lurked that. Didn't really get the animation I wanted. But... Regardless, he actually gets in for six, but we're we are developing a uh, you know a sense of what he's running on offense to so we can counter it next defensive drive. So right here he scores, and now right here actually I score. So we go up fourteen seven, and he's got a short field. Oh, he's actually got short time. He's got forty seconds. He actually does a pretty well a good job of you know doing a hurry up offense. He's hitting some people down the middle. I'm trying to user Luke Keekly. I'm so close to getting a, a user pick out of him. I'm lurking stuff. He will greatly lurk anything uh, as long as the receiver isn't really like Deshaun Jackson or anything. He can keep up with slants, curls, go routes, just as long as it's not a you know fast tight end. And you'll actually see right here I actually end up lurking a, um, a poorly thrown ball by Luke Keekly. And just like I said before, he's got one of the best hands as a tight end. So that's something that you want to keep mind of while when you pick him up, uh, if you pick him up and play him. And right here we're kicking the ball off second half. He knows he has to score quickly because it's three minute quarters, and uh, to even remotely get the ball back. So this is the drive I'm talking about when Luke Keekley not controlling him. He's so good when the computer controls him because that 98 play recognition. Uh, he's quick hiking me this whole series. There's that fade route again. And so I get caught on alignment, and there it is right there. I get caught on alignment. The computer has that 98 play recognition, just notices that he always puts that linebacker in that um, fade route, that tight end in the fade route, and we finally jump it. The computer jumps it, gets the user pick for me, and flat out basically just wins this game just because of the sole fact that we, we got that stop. There's three-minute quarters. He's got to throw the ball now. It's not looking too good. He's just going to hit dump-offs now. I'll let him have that all day. Uh, when I'm not controlling Luke Keekly, um, 
I'm just glad that he has that 98 play recognition because I know the computer can control it really well. Also in the run game too, if you got somebody running pistol, you know, strong power a lot, and you're not using Luke Keekley, he will come around and make the tackle, get the block shed a bunch of times. Uh, in the beginning of this game, you saw that. And um, basically that's going to be the review for my Luke Keekley. Right now we just get the user pick. I actually get the ball back and I just kneel it on downs and uh as you can see we're going to win take this 21-7 that's going to be my player review for luke keekley i will be doing more of these next week we got another one coming up let me know who you guys want to see i want to try and limit this to 90 and over for now and then if this keeps up then we'll do 95 and over but to make sure you guys like comment subscribe until next time guys adios